You may be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 40th annual Los Angeles Mission College commencement. My name is Margie Long, and I'm your MC this afternoon. We are honored here at Mission College to have the Community College Color Guard open our 40th commencement ceremony. The Color Guard will honor our nation's flag with the presentation of colors. Our salutatorian, Sarah Sanchez, has the honor of leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm pleased to mention that Sarah Sanchez is an accounting major and will transfer to USC this fall. Following the color guard and the Pledge of Allegiance will be the Los Angeles Mission College Choir singing our national anthem conducted by Dr. Tobin Sparfeld. Would the audience please rise? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
so we can continue. We want to thank the Community College Bureau Color Guard, the Salutatorian, and the LAMC Choir, and Dr. Sparfeld. Now I'd like to introduce to you each member of our platform party. Platform members, if you would remain standing as I call your name. First, Los Angeles Mission College President, Dr. Monty Perez. Next, United States Congressman and keynote speaker today, Tony Cardenas. Los Angeles Community College District Board of Trustee member, Mona Field. Los Angeles Community College District, District Chancellor, Dr. Francisco Rodriguez. <laughs> Vice President of Academic Affairs, Michael Allen. <laughs> Vice President of Administrative Services, Danny Villanueva. Academic Faculty Senate President, Leslie Milkey. <laughs> Associated Student Organization President, Raymond Gosen. <laughs> Valedictorian, Socorro Elizondo. <laughs> and Salutatorian, Sarah Sanchez. Thank you. Members of the platform party, you may be seated. You may be seated, graduates and faculty. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of Los Angeles Mission College, Dr. Monty Perez. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Los Angeles Community College District, the faculty, the staff, administration students, and the community of Los Angeles Mission College, I welcome you to the 40th commencement exercises of Los Angeles Mission College. Give yourself a hand. We are proud to see our graduates complete their degrees and certificates, and we thank the families and friends that have supported them through their journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Perez. And now, I'd like to introduce to you the president of the Associated Student Organization, Raymond Gosen. Raymond who is graduating this year, plans to go to law school. It's my pleasure to introduce Raymond Gosen. Hello and welcome students, family, and friends. As president of the Student Associated Student Organization, I would like to start by saying what an honor and a pleasure it's been to attend such a grand academic institution, Los Angeles Mission College. It is with heavy heart that I leave Mission College to pursue my passion of becoming a human rights attorney by attending law school in the fall of 2015. Working side by side with faculty and staff to represent the students of LAMC at a local as well as state level has been an experience of a lifetime. The ASO Council along with faculty and staff is putting countless hours in order to ensure the success of the underlying foundation of this institution, its students. This success would not have been possible without the help of a handful of people. 
First and foremost, I would like to thank Dr. Monty Perez for his undoubted contribution and commitment to the students. It has been an honor to work with such a great leader who has helped to really make LAMC the college that it is today. Your hard work and contribution to this institution has really set the standard for the rest of the schools and the biggest community college district in the nation, the LACCD. I'd like to thank each and every single one of the faculty and, and staff, especially VP Danny Villanueva, VP Michael Allen, VP Joe Ramirez, the ASO advisor, Mr. Robert Crossley, department chair, Leslie Milkey, director of the paralegal studies program, Professor David Jordan, and chair of the business department, Patricia Flood, who has contributed 45 years to education, 16 of which were here at Los Angeles Mission College. I would also like to recognize a person who I owe my success to as ASO president, a person who has given me the motivation and instilled in me the confidence and guidance that is necessary in order to move forward and continue to be a great student leader. That person is my friend and my mentor, Professor Jason Boardbar. Lastly, I would like to thank my father and mother for without you, success would have been but a dream. I would, I would, like, to cl I would like to close by congratulating all of you graduates today. You did it. I want to leave you off with a quote by Thomas Jefferson that has been a driving force in my life, and I hope that it will be the same in yours. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Thank you. Go Eagles. That was very nice, Raymond. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like to introduce to you the representative from Los Angeles Community College District Board of Trustees. Here to bring you greetings is one of the members of the board, the Honorable Mona Field. Good afternoon. Congratulations, Mission College Class of 2015. As you leave this part of your educational experience, I know you're going forward to a variety of future experiences and opportunities. Mission College is proud of you. Your families and friends are proud of you. I hope, are you proud of yourselves? Yeah. All right, you need to be, that's good. And right now, could you please give a hand and a thank you to the faculty and staff and administration of this college that has helped you so much? I'm sure that each one of you has many people to be thankful to today, people who've helped you along the way. And in addition to congratulating you and honoring you today, I just want to encourage you to pass it on, to help someone else, to give that kind of support to someone else who's working their way through and finding their path in life. You have been doing a great job and you will help others to do a great job. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much, Mona. And now, Socorro Elizondo has earned the academic honor as our valedictorian for the class of 2015. Socorro began her studies as an ESL student. Spanish is her primary language. She is an accounting major and plans to transfer to Cal State Northridge. It is my pleasure to introduce Socorro Elizondo, who will deliver the student address. Good afternoon. My name is Socorro Elizondo, and it's an honor for me to, be, to stand before you today. First of all, congratulations to each one of the graduates. Because today, after all your efforts and sacrifices, you are here living one of your dreams. I know each one of you have faced hard times in order to be here celebrating your achievement and this institution. Today, I want to share with you my academic experience and some challenges I had to overcome. Almost seven years ago, I arrived to, to this country with my family, my father, mother, and my little sister. I'm majoring in business, and my goal is to get my PhD and one day return to a college campus and be a professor. 
because I want to share my knowledge and experience with the new generations. My first school in this country was San Fernando High School. I was placed two years behind because I didn't speak English. This was very disappointing to me because I saw my dream of going to college and get a degree so far away. It was hard for me to see how my friends in Mexico graduated from high school and I was still in 10th grade. I was depressed for the first two years. I cried every night hoping to go back to my country. But none of these events held me back. I had very clear in my head and my heart that I wanted to make the difference in my family. I had to be an example for my little sister and I wanted my parents to, be, to feel proud of me because they didn't have the opportunity to finish high school or go to college. I tried my best every day and I graduated with honors from high school in 2012. Although I was doing well at, in, at school in this country, I wanted to go back to Mexico. But then I realized that there were thousands of people who wanted to have the same opportunity like me of studying in this country, and that not everyone had the privilege of receiving financial aid like me. That was the moment when I decided to stay and begin my journey at Los Angeles Mission College in the fall 2012. I will never regret that decision because I have met amazing people from faculty staff to classmates who have helped me to succeed and encouraged me to continue when I fell down. I was very fortunate that a friend of mine introduced me to the EOPS program. This program helped me with priority registration, pay for my books and counseling. Also, I received a cash grant through the program to continue my education. Thanks to the UPS program, I stand before you today. My journey at Los Angeles Mission College was not easy. Every semester was getting harder and harder. Two months ago, I was blessed with having a child. I remember that the last weeks of my pregnancy, I was worried. I thought, what if I have my baby in the middle of a class, or what is going to happen if I have complications delivering my baby and I lose the semester? Thanks God, everything was okay, and the week after my baby was born, I was in front of my communication class delivering my second speech. <laughs> I don't want to leave the podium without saying thanks to my family. Please excuse me, but I'm going to say some words in Spanish. Mam, muchas gracias por todo tu apoyo, en especial estos últimos dos meses, porque sin ti yo no estaría aquí en estos momentos. Gracias porque tú, junto con mi papá, me han inculcado valores que me han hecho ser la persona que soy ahora y que han contribuido a que el día de hoy esté yo aquí haciendo realidad uno de mis sueños. Gracias a mi esposo por apoyarme en todo momento, aún en esos momentos de estrés y desesperación. Le quiero dedicar este logro a mi bebé. Sé que aún eres muy pequeña para comprender, pero espero un día ser un ejemplo para ti y tu inspiración para salir adelante, al igual que tú lo eres para mí en estos momentos. I'm not going to say that I am an example for you to follow, but what I can say is if the person who is talking to you right now who don't speak English very well and who is still adapting to this country could get straight A's every semester, each one of you can do it too. Just be responsible. Give priority to your studies. Be determined and perseverant. Never give up. Fight for your dreams. And never, never subestimate yourself. Set high goals and do your best to reach them. In your academic life, never be satisfied with just passing a class. Fight for those days. And when you are out there in the real world, fight to be the best in your field. Thank you so much, and congratulations to the class of 2015.
I have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker today, Congressman Tony Cardenas. I wanted to give you a little bit of background and in your program, there's information about this honorable man and his work. You should all know that the Honorable Tony Cardenas is local. He's from here, Pacoima area in Northeast San Fernando. <laughs> Congressman Cardenas was first elected to the California State Assembly in 1996. He went on to serve three terms in the Assembly and was later elected to the Los Angeles City Council in 2003. An engineering degree and a business background prepared him for the day-to-day -day duties of his elected office, and his experience allowed him to find practical and realistic solutions to difficult problems. Born in Pacoima, Cardenas was raised with 10 brothers and sisters and still resides in San Fernando Valley with his wife Norma and their children. While he was at the State Assembly, he was chair of the State Assembly Powerful Budget Committee that oversaw the most robust reserve budget in the history of California. He also has been very involved with juvenile justice issues. Uh, his state legislation included the overhaul of California's gang prevention and intervention programs with the passage of the Schiff Cardenas Juvenile Justice Crime Prevention Act. And when he was a city council member, he was the chair of the city's ad hoc committee on gang violence and youth development. After 16 years in public office, Cardenas, Congressman Cardenas has made history, becoming the first Latino elected official to represent the San Fernando Valley in the United States Congress. He currently serves on the House Committee on Energy and Commerce, the oldest authorizing committee in the House, and he was also chosen as the Steny Hoyer Assistant Whip for the House. Please welcome our keynote speaker and homeboy, Congressman Tony Cardenas. Yes, I love being home. I love being a homeboy. The Northeast Valley is my home. But like Socorro and many people right here today, home didn't start here in the valley. But there is a saying, home is where your heart is. And I think right now, everybody's heart is happy with a lot of gratitude for the fact that your family members, your friends are graduating today after a lot of hard work and beautiful, beautiful dedication. Today's a beautiful day. And thank God we're home right here at Mission College. There's a name right here on this building, if you look at it. It's Guadalupe S. Ramirez. She was not a president of the United States. For those of you who don't recognize her name, no, she wasn't a president of the United States. What she was, and always will be, is a testament to what this great democracy is all about. Our country, the United States of America, is about people putting their best foot forward and speaking the truth, the truth to power, to make good things happen. And for Guadalupe Ramirez, she's the mother of Mission College. She fought and fought and fought and fought and never gave up to make sure that Mission College had its own campus. See, many of you are too young to know that Mission College was right next to a 7-Eleven in San Fernando, and another class you'd take next to a shoe store on the mall, and on and on and on. It was spread out all over the neighborhood. And Guadalupe Ramirez said, we have Valley College, we have Pierce College, we have no college in our community, why not in our community? And so be it, Mission College was born out of the blood, sweat, and tears of Guadalupe Ramirez and many other people. Guadalupe would have been very, very proud to hear Socorro's words today. And she would have not have been ashamed in one bit. Matter of fact, I think it would have been an extra pride to know that Socorro spoke 
and speaks with an accent because Socorro knows what it's like to know two worlds. The world of the United States of America, which is the greatest country on earth. But one of the reasons why this country is so great is because when people give of themselves 110% and appreciate all the wonderful, beautiful things that we have, have in this great country, that's what makes this country great. Sometimes people sacrifice their lives with that in their heart. Sometimes they sacrifice time and energy arguing with their own family. Guadalupe, why do you spend so much time there? They're never going to build a campus anyway. She didn't listen. You know what Socorro means in English, the translation? You know what it means, right, Socorro? It means help. So in Spanish, if somebody's yelling Socorro, they're not calling for their sister, especially at the top of their lungs or their mom. They're yelling for help. So you pay attention. Maybe there's a fire or something or a dog after them. What I'd like to give to you today is a simple message. A message that came to me in two ways just a few weeks ago. For over a year, a freshman in Congress was the only person in all of Washington to speak against one of the biggest potential mergers ever proposed in United States history. And after a year and 130 lobbyists trying to convince all of us that it should happen, one of us stuck up for the little guy. And just a few weeks ago, I was at a company that could have or probably would have gone out of business had this merger taken place. And the owner and his son, an 80 plus year old man and a 50 plus year old man, two generations of a business would have probably been wiped off the earth had it happened. They said, thank you, Congressman Cardenas, for being that voice. And they introduced me to their employees and it was overwhelming for me to look in their eyes and to realize that many, many of those people would not have been able to feed their family had we let it happen. But it didn't happen. The little guy won. I felt a little bit like Guadalupe that day. And then one of the owners of the company said, what do you think we should do next? And I said, well, let me give you some advice and we'll talk again some other time and I'll think about an answer. But for right now, if I were you, I would be more like Martin Luther King than Malcolm X. You see, because Martin Luther King is rem remembered more for his love and commitment to everybody involved. And Malcolm X was remembered more for not allowing certain things to happen, sticking up for himself in a different way. But history remembers Martin Luther King much kinder than Malcolm X. And then a couple weeks later, I met a friend of mine in Washington, D.C., and he said, you got to meet this guy, Steve. And he kept bugging Steve, a humble man. He's in his 40s now. He said, Steve, you got to tell Congress and God us your story. And he wouldn't tell me his story. And then he was asked again and again and again. Finally, he told me part of his story. And you see, I have an electrical engineering degree, and I'm very proud of that. And I work for a big company called Hewlett Packard. But that was not Steve's path. When Steve graduated in Albuquerque, New Mexico, his first job out of college, well, his first interview was with a man who owned a business and was interviewing him. And he looked at his resumes. You see, Steve was a go-getter. When he worked his way through college, he got a contractor's license and he did odd jobs here and there, but he focused on electrical work. His father was an electrician, not an engineer, but an electrician, a blue collar man. So he learned a lot from his father and he worked his way through college. And in that interview, the first interview he had after getting his electrical engineering degree, the man looked at him and he says, you have a very impressive resume. It's very impressive but I only have one problem, you're Mexican. True story, true story. He told this young man, I only have one problem, you're Mexican. But listen, he did not react like Malcolm X would have reacted. And I'll be honest with you, 
When I was in my early 20s, if somebody would have told me that after graduating with my electrical engineering degree, I probably would have had some pretty choice words to say to that man. And I sure as heck wouldn't have wanted to work for him. Not after that moment, but not Steve. Steve looked at him and he said, so you're gonna offer me the job? And the man looked at him like he couldn't believe him. Like he just insulted him. And the kid says, so you can offer me the job. And the man said, yeah, I'm gonna offer you the job, but I'm not gonna pay you what, I, what engineers get paid. I'm not gonna pay you what engineers get paid. And by then, I did the calculation. He should have been paid maybe about $25 an hour, straight out of college. And he said, I'm gonna pay you $8 an hour. And Steve said, okay, I'll take it. And then the man was even more surprised. And the man reached back behind his desk and he gave him some plans. And he said, I have a job for you. Start tomorrow. Gave him the address and the plans. Steve went home that night. It was four hours drive. He got a nice chest, his sleeping bag, and he threw it in the back of his car and he went out there by himself to do a two-man job. He did it by himself. Two weeks later, he comes back and the man says to him, so you quit, huh? He says, no, I'm done. <laughs> He said, you're done? He says, it's impossible. He says, no, I'm done, sir. So the man drove him out to the school site. It was on a school campus. And he looks at the work and he says, you did all this? And he says, yeah. He says, you did this by yourself? And he said, yeah, I did it by myself. So the man kept giving him more jobs and more jobs and more jobs. And then one day, Steve walked into the man's office, the owner of the company. And he says, I want to buy your business. And the man laughed at him. He says, you can't buy my business. He says, yes, I'll offer you a million dollars. He says, no, 1.5 million. He says, no, sir, it's not even worth a million, but I'll pay you a million. And they argued. And the man said, get out of my office. And he says, before I leave, I'm going to let you know one thing. If you don't sell me your business, I'm going to set up shop right across the street. And I'm going to take everybody who works for you. They're going to come work for me. And the man said, get out of here. So Steve set up shop right across the street. Everybody went with him except for the receptionist. Steve felt bad for the reception. He said, you need to come work for me because this guy's going out of business. He goes, no, it's okay. I'm going to stick around. So sometime later, Steve's business is going up. The man's business is going down. So Steve walks across the street and he says, I still want to buy your business. So they negotiated half a million dollars later. He paid half a million dollars for his business. So Steve now owned two businesses. The man left, took his money. The story gets better believe it or not. Some time later, some years later, the man who said, I have a problem with you, you're Mexican. He came back into Steve's office, asked to talk to him. Steve said, sure, sir, sit down. They sat down, they caught up a little bit. And the man got very serious. And he said, you know, you're the son I never had. He says, you're a man of your word, you work hard, you made something of yourself. My son, I gave him everything. He had everything he's ever wanted, but he never wanted to work for anything. And the man shook his hand and said, I'm very proud of you. And he left. A story gets better. Sometime later, the son comes to Steve and says, can I talk to you, sir? He says, sure, come on in. He says, my dad's dying and I'm moving back to Albuquerque because I need to take care of my father. He says, but I need a job. Will you give me a job? Steve gave him a job. He took care of his father. And the young man's father passed away. To this day, that young man still works for Steve. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, is that a beautiful story? I share that story with all of you, not just the graduates, but every person here. I share that story with every person here. Because today is a day for us to exude humility, to reflect and remember all those times you wanted to quit but you didn't. To reflect and remember the one person here and the one person there they lifted you up and said, you can do it. And yes, it's also an opportunity to remember the people who said, don't even try it. You're not good enough. 
but you did it anyway. Today's the day. Today is a perfect day to remember Steve because in Steve, he overcame the other guy, the other person, the person with hate in his heart. And we all get that sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes we're not the prettiest person. Sometimes we're not the nicest person. Sometimes we're not the best we can be. And it's horrible. Because we hurt people and we hurt ourselves, but more importantly, we hurt our community and we are not the best that this country can produce. We are not the best that Mission College can produce when we are not Steve. Today is a day to appreciate the good times, the bad times, and today is oh certainly a day for us to look around us and go reach out to the people who love you, who care about you, who came and braving the rain to celebrate with you and to say gracias, thank you, or whatever words you want to use. And I'll tell you what, today was another day for us to realize and recognize that gratitude in any language, with any accent, is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Let's be grateful, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be grateful. <laughs> Dr. Perez, I'd like to thank you so much for inviting me to be here today and celebrate this beautiful, wonderful day and this culmination of all the wonderful work, love, and joy, and tears that were put into coming to this day today. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You've earned it. And I'm not just looking at you graduates, I'm looking at everybody here. You earned it. God bless you. Thank you so much. We, certainly, we really appreciate that. And now, here is the ASO president, Raymond Gosen, once again. I'd like to thank Mr. Congressman Cardenas for such an inspirational speech and present him with this plaque. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now here to bring congratulations and announce the Chancellor's Distinguished Honor Award is the Chancellor himself, Chancellor of the Los Angeles Community College District, Dr. Francisco Rodriguez. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Roger. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon. Almost buenas noches. What a glorious day. I'm looking for the class of 2015. Where are you? Oh, what a... President Perez, Congressman Cardenas, Trustee Field, Grand Marshal, Pat, thank you. I'm going to just share a few words for the graduates and then I'm going to read off some glorious names of academic achievement that we know as, a, as the Chancellor's Awards, if you will. I'm honored to extend on behalf of you and, and all of us here at the stage, greetings on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees and all the other eight community college districts. The Los Angeles Community College District, last week and this week, all nine colleges will confer well over 12,000 degrees and certificates in Los Angeles County. Isn't that a wonderful thing? And this is a sample of that. I'm proud to be with you as you celebrate 40 years of service, leadership, education here in the Valley. And I do hope that Ms. Ramirez would be proud of each and every one of you for her vision and the community support to build a local college that attracts the best faculty and administration to provide the kind of energy and support so that our students can succeed. And you are a testament of that. Here at LA Mission College, every student is welcomed. Irrespective of station in life, the zip code that you come from, your family language, your family history, 
your income, every student is welcomed here at LA Mission College. In fact, today, we are the community colleges, the modern day Ellis Island, because everyone is welcomed. And something is happening here today. It's raining. But it's a, it hasn't rained in weeks, but today, the goddess of rain bestows her joy on us. And as we, you, as we move forward, I just want a couple of things to share with you. I'll make my comments very quick. <laughs> to the graduates, never be afraid to fail. For failure sometimes is the best example for us. Make your mark, do so with courage and compassion. As the Congressman mentioned and Socorro mentioned, find and use your voice and let your voice be heard. Be an inspiration and serve others. And soon you will find out the glorious law of reciprocity, that the more you help others succeed, the more success will find you. The more you help others succeed, the more success will find you. And I leave you with this, because you know more, you are now challenged to do more. Let me say that again. As an educated person, because you know more, you are now challenged to do more, to help our communities. The need is great in the, both the public and private sector. So perhaps the president of Liberia said it best. She says, the size of your dreams must always exceed your current capacity to achieve them. Because if your dreams do not scare you, they're simply not big enough. If your dreams, graduates of 2015, do not scare you, they're not big enough. The real tragedy in life is not setting your goals too high and never reaching them, but setting them too low and reaching them. Michael Angelo said that. So that's what I leave you with today. And now it's my privilege and honor to read off the Chancellor's Distinguished Honor Award. It's one of the most significant and prestigious awards available in our community college district. Students must achieve a minimum of 3.7 grade point average or better in all college work and complete at least, at least 50 credit hour units. Will the students please stand as I read your names and remain standing until all names are called. And I ask you to please wait until the end to applause. So for the fall of 14, the Chancellor's Award goes to Joseph Capalupo, Vivian Castro, Yanitsi Fernandez, Carmen Canbababe, Darren Lilian, Soraida Lopez, Mia Villanueva Kohatsu, Eodias Wilson, Michael Zalen. For the spring of 2015, Hannah Acree, Vanessa Amaya, Mayra Cárdenas, Diana Cohen Herrera, Patricia Diaz, Socorro Elizondo, Jasmine Enriquez, Veronica Evangelista Benito, Joana Farias Chavez, Steven Garcia, Jasmine Gosen, Samuel Limon, Linda Marks, Dylan Martin, Heather McGrath, Madison McKiernan, Teresa Medina, Maria Nagel, Teresa Ortiz, Silvia Peñalosa, Alejandro Pichardo, Andrew Sanchez, Sarah Sanchez, Shiva Shava, Jonathan Umana, and Maria Wong Gonzalez. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the Chancellor's Distinguished Honors Award. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again introduce the LAMC Choir under the direction of Dr. Tobin Sparfeld.
Thank you very much, Dr. Sparfeld and our LAMC choir. And now, here to tell you a little bit about the class of 2015 is the Academic Senate President, Leslie Milkey. I'm okay, Danny, don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I love the rain. No, sit. I mean it. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, 104 degrees while 300 of you were out here practicing, so this is very nice. Um, I am standing here representing the faculty at Mission College, and we feel that this is sort of our day with you. Um, and to congratulate you, I'd like for the faculty to please stand up, and let's face our graduates and give them a huge round of applause. Congratulations, thank you very much. Well, it's with great joy that we honor you today. And before Vice President Allen uh, announces the presentation of the class, I wanna tell you a little bit of something about the class. And I have a whole lot of data. Let's go through all of it. I think I'll cut it down to a few important tidbits for you. So who is the class of 2015? Well, we have 447 graduating students here today. Thank you. We have, of those 447, 34% of you are male. <laughs> That's right, okay. So I guess you get the gist of this. 66% of you are female. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Our graduating class consists of 79% Hispanics, 10% Caucasian, 5% Asian, and 1% African American. The median GPA of our student graduates is a 3.04, a very smart graduating class. And the median age of our graduates is 24 years old. So our Adam Joseph Brown or Teresa Medina, are you here today? If you are, could you stand? Yes, we're gonna talk a little bit about you, Teresa. I wanna tell you a little bit about our youngest graduate, uh, graduate, and that's Adam Joseph Brown. Adam is 14 years old. He 
is a liberal arts, social and behavioral science major, and he is graduating cum laude. And it's interesting to note that Adam's first semester here at Mission College was in the summer of 2009 when he was eight years old. Congratulations, Adam. <laughs> Teresa Medina. Teresa is our oldest graduate at, <laughs> at 62 years young. <laughs> Teresa is a general studies major in social and behavioral sciences, and she's graduating, wait for it, magna cum laude. Yeah. And her first semester was in the fall of 2008, when Adam was seven. <laughs> A couple of groups I want to honor. Um, graduates who are wearing maroon color cords, could you please stand? The maroon cords signify that these students will be transferring to a university in the fall of 2015. Congratulations to you all. And from the transfer center, they wanted me to say, keep calm and transfer on. You may be seated. And lastly, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and give thanks to all of our veteran students that have transitioned from our armed forces to achieving their educational goals. Would the veterans please stand up? We want to especially salute you and your dedicated service and accomplishments. Thank you very much. And thank you, graduates. And here we go. That was wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here to present the class of 2015 is the Vice President of Academic Affairs, Michael Allen. The valedictorian, Socorro Elizondo, and the salutatorian, Sarah Sanchez, have the honor of leading the graduates up to the stage. ASO President Raymond Gossen will exit the stage with the valedictorian. Dean of Students, Ludy Viegas Vidal, and Professor of Language, Dr. David Pardes, will announce the names of the graduates seated to my right. Professor of Rhetoric and Communication Studies, Margie Long, and Vice Chair of Life Sciences, Dr. Stephen Brown, will announce the names of the graduates seated on my left. President Perez, I present to you the class of 2015. Please stand. <clears throat> President Perez, these students have completed the studies prescribed by the faculty and administration of Los Angeles Mission College and are now eligible to receive the degrees for which they have qualified. By the authority vested in me by the State of California and by the Board of Trustees of the Los Angeles Community College District, I confer upon you the associate degree and in testimony thereof approve the receipt of your degree. Go ahead and clap. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. Socorro Elizondo, Liberal Arts Business. Why don't you back here? 
Jadine Renteria, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ashley Mendoza, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Silvia Jimenez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Chicano Studies. Moises Hernandez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Melissa Becerra, Health Science. Karen Garcia, Health Science. Elizabeth Zamora, <clears throat> Health Science. Ricky Bernal, Health Science. Darren Linian, Health Science. Georgina Martinez, Biology. Christy Kellen, Philosophy. Claudia Mercado, Liberal Arts and Business. Alma Mendoza Ruiz, Business Administration. Adriana Avila, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Christine Herrera, Health Science. Joey Siojo, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Bruce Adkins, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Livia Flores, Psychology. Adam Brown, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Eduardo Aguirre, Liberal Arts, Communication and Literature. Mireida Munguia Mason. Biology. Fabiola Gonzalez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Lorena Armstrong, Sociology. <laughs> Ms. Angela Porsche, Psychology. Natalie Quintero, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Yolanda Limon, Psychology. Miguel Miramontes, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sandra Escobedo, Child Development. Hilda Padilla, Child Development. Vicky Lesama, Business Administration. Estefania Antillon, Psychology. Cecilia Dunn, Child Development. Alejandra Moreno, Business. Silvia Flores, Liberal Studies, Multiple Subject Teacher Prep. Yeah. 
Maria Ramirez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Diana Inostros, Psychology. Monica Reyes, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Daniel Gallardo, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alejandra Vergara. Legal Assisting, Paralegal. Jennifer Reyes, Legal Assisting, Paralegal. Melissa Gonzalez, Sociology. Edward Casabian, Political Science. Daryl Woody, Business Administration. Liliana Lepe, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. R Ricardo Martinez, Liberal Arts, Business. Heather McGroth, Child Development. Juan Martinez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Alejandra Tapia Barba, Liberal Studies Multiple Subject Teacher Prep. Zinash Yosef, Health Science. Omar Portillo, Communication Studies for Transfer. Rodrigo Martinez, Health Science. Gabriela de Leon, Health Science. Gabriela Ramos, Health Science. <laughs> Cynthia Rincon, Sociology. Rachel Duncan, Art. Cindy Barillas, Legal Assisting Paralegal. Manuel Lopez, Legal Assisting Paralegal. Lionel Gonzalez, Psychology. Francisco Paniagua, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Alberto Peña, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Salvador Aguilar Camacho, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Rodolfo Garcia, Jr., Computer Science. Jasmin Ponce Tapia, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Kevin Charles Bendo, Liberal Arts and Business. Barbara Patterson, Art. Yoel Tavares, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Paola L Lopez, English. Evelyn Lopez, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Vanessa Amaya, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nancy Velasquez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jennifer Valdez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Candy Macias, Psychology. 
Sandra Rodriguez, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Monica Figueroa, Liberal Arts, Communication and Literature. Roberto Rodriguez, Chicano Studies. Gerardo Chavez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Catalina Hernandez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science. Adlemi Espadas Peña, Administration of Justice. Alma Juarez, Computer Applications and Office Technologies. Jessica Reina, Health Science. Josefina Marroquin, Health Science. Vanessa Jimenez, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Vanessa de la Rosa, Psychology. Roger Vielman, Psychology. Lisa Torres, Child Development. Erika Murcia Flores, Child Development. Hilda Montoya, Child Development. Marisol Berumen, Sociology and Chicano Studies. Jesus Velasquez, Computer Science Business. Carlos Trujillo Tellez, Computer Science. Celia Rangel, Health Science. Griselda Hernandez, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jose Nunez, Legal Assisting, Paralegal. Jacqueline Morales, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Eduardo Silva, Business Administration. Maritza Silva, Child Development. Brendan Wakuka Urban, Administration of Justice. Heba Mola, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Christian Roman, Business. Jandy Masariegos, Child Development. Jamie Lopez, Liberal Arts Business. Lauren Morris, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Chantel Maldonado, Liberal Arts and Sociology. Priscilla Aguilar, Multimedia, Graphic and Web Design. Andre Barrios, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alfonso Gil, Liberal Arts, Business. Victor Montes, Sociology, General Studies, Communication and Literature. Lucero Montañez, Child Development. Damian Rodriguez, Administration of Justice. Luis Valdez, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Diana Olmsted, General Studies, Arts and Humanities, Performing Arts. Araceli Ayala, Liberal Studies, Multiple Subject Teacher Prep. 
Crystal Valencia, Administration of Justice. Raquel Rios, Administration of Justice. Mayra Zamora, Health Science. Teresa Ortiz, Child Development. Laura Soto, Child Development. Maria Guadalupe Rosas, Child Development. Skyler McDonald, Child Development. Juana Farias Chavez, Child Development. Nancy Mora, Computer Science. Jessica Chavez Ortega, Liberal Studies. Melody Diaz, Health Science. Maria Grimaldo, Liberal Arts Business. Veronica Evangelista Benito, Liberal Studies, Multiple Subject Teacher Prep. Leonel Acosta, Political Science. Celia Contreras, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Laura Cañas, Child Development. John Espinosa, Health Science. Esmeralda Soto, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nicole Galvan, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Guillermo Gonzalez Lopez, Sociology. Zenia Ortega, Administration of Justice. Lisette Ramirez, Liberal Arts Business. Paula de Flores, Business Administration. Maria Sanchez, Liberal Arts Business. Marily Jacinto Lopez, Administration of Justice. Lucila Jacinto, Child Development. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Sanchez, Liberal Arts and Business. Richard Castaneda, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Elizabeth Cruz, Sociology. Veronica Esquivel, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jaime 
Solitero, Sociology. Daniel Davis, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Glenn Burns, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Cindy Montiel, Health Science. Melissa Caputo, Health Science. Giselle Aguirre, Health Science. Rachel Thompson, Health Science. Sarapreet Janda, Child Development. Jamie DeFalco, Multimedia Video Production Concentration. Daniela Trejo, Political Science. Digna Guerrero, Sociology. Yudnia Capote Gonzalez, Sociology. Alina Garibi, Sociology. April Broadest Day, Health Science. Melissa Avia, Kinesiology. Angelica Vanegas, Psychology. Diana Cohen Herrera, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Louis Aguilar, Child Development. Vanessa Aguilar, Business Marketing. Victoria Rodriguez Lopez, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alina Alcantar, Biology. Claudia Rivera, Biology. Legal Assisting Paralegal. Belinda Carranza, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alyssa Vasquez, Health Science. Zoraida Lopez, Health Science. Araceli Montes, Health Science. Rigoberto Mian, Psychology. Naridia Chavaria, Sociology. Mariela Villegas, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Griselda Coronado, Liberal Arts, Social Sciences, and Behavioral Sciences. Keri Ramirez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Pati Patricia Valdivia, Administration of Justice. Carla Ayala, Psychology. Renee Bulgarin, Liberal Arts Business. Gabriel De Los Santos, Child Development. Maria Nagel, General Studies, Natural Sciences. Warshiyanti Lenhart, Health Science. 
Melissa Reyes, Health Science. Brandon Boatwright, Sociology. Crystal Solis, Sociology. Flor Torres, Health Science. Amber Venegas, Sociology. La Sheree Williams, Health Science. Maria Avalos, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Gabriela Sanchez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Marlon Paz, Liberal Arts, Business. Albert Tia, Arts. Go all the way up. Michael Baio, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Heriberto Valenzuela, Jr., Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Belcia. Belcia Ortega, Child Development. Lisef Lemus, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Raquel Diaz, Accounting. Abby Ramirez, Mathematics. Jennifer Vega, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Itai Farber, Liberal Arts, Business. Oscar Diaz, Liberal Arts, Business. Cynthia Geronimo, General Studies, Natural Sciences. Alexander Melgar Martinez, Liberal Arts, Business. Humberto Flores, Liberal Arts, Business. Jorge Medina, Liberal Arts, Business. Tomas Reyes, Business Administration. Jasmine Enriquez, Sociology. Yanitzi Fernandez, Administration of Justice. Daisy Avia, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jasmeri Reyes, Liberal Arts, Business. Alma Valencia, Psychology. Mardonio Macareno, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jeanette? Jeanette? Okay. Jeanette Alvarado, Journalism. Luis Morales, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Studies. Nicanor Lunar, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Marlena Gonzalez, Administration of Justice. Martha Alvarez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Berenice Quintero, Liberal Arts Business. Sevek Chilangayan, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. 
Oscar Gonzalez, Administration of Justice. Jacqueline Gomez, Sociology. Teresa Medina, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Salvador Cornejo, Business Administration. Nathalie Vasquez, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sylvia Penalosa, Child Development. Myra Cardenas, Child Development. Georgina Guadardo, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Oscar Aguayo, Liberal Arts Business. Raul Juarez, Liberal Arts Business. Veranice Villalobos, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Roxanne Bixler, Psychology. David Wentz, Psychology. Stephen Mesa, Mathematics. Lisette Johanna Morales, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Kong Wang, Health Science. Andrew Aguilar, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jeanette Vega, Psychology. Miriam Garcia, Child Development. Mia Villanueva Kohatsu, Child Development. Daisy Hernandez, Early Child Development. Maria Gutierrez Alcaraz, Child Development. Patricia Diaz, Sociology. JC Pena, Sociology. Elizabeth Gutierrez, Health Science. Ruby Alatore, Health Science. Sidra Belu, Health Administration. Deanna Lopez, Psychology. Hannah Acri, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Andrew Sanchez, Health Science. Ingrid Osorio, Liberal Arts, Natural Sciences. Vanessa Hernandez, English. Brian Rivera, English. Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ekaterina Morozova, Psychology. Karina Martinez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. 
George Castellanos, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Katrina Coppola, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Yasaman Sheyeste, Political Science. Bianca Oriana, Liberal Arts Business. Vivian Jimenez, Health Science. Jaime Gabriel, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Rudy Aguirre, Psychology. Monica Navarro del Torres, Child Development. Denise Fierro Gomez, Child Development. Rosel Flores, Liberal Arts Business. Christina Solis, General Studies, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alma Zambrano, Accounting. Veronica Chavez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nanking Yi Martinez, Health Science. Adriana Alanis Lopez, Health Science. Samantha Avia, Health Science. Delia Aguilar Rivera, Mathematics. Omar Espinosa, Art. Dana Ruiz, Psychology. Salvador Gonzalez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Gilda Espinosa, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Raymond Davia, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Angelo Cruz, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Erica Brown, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Maria Wong Gonzalez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Veronica Hernandez, Galica, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Azucena Hernandez, Multimedia Graphic and Web Design. Jose Seha, Kinesiology. Ruben Herrera, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Mariela Gomez, Child Development. Michelle Guadalupe Delgado, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Victoria Ariano, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Nayeli Lara Hernandez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Connie Vasquez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Irene Padilla, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. 
Juliana Frutos, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Alejandra Delgado, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Ingrid Martinez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Elizabeth Kosian, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Leili Andrade, Food Service Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Vanessa Hernandez, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Misty Murray, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. Caitlin M. Tehi, Food Management Production Services and Related Technologies. celebration. It's been a wonderful time to make memories and for you to look forward to what the future has to offer you. Now I would like to ask, I would like to ask the Grand Marshal Patricia Flood to please come up and retrieve the ceremonial mace. And please stand at the symbol of graduation. Do you Yeah. If you would face the graduates and the faculty, please. When I do this, graduate, please stand. Uh, do me do this one? Okay. I, just, you do that. Now, graduates, please stand. As a symbol of graduation, you are privileged to wear the tassel on the left side, and I will ask you now to move them accordingly. Congratulations. Okay, now. We can. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful celebration. Now we have we have the ASO president to come up for just one more presentation. If you would welcome again, please, Raymond Gosen. Hello again, everyone. I have two more awards to give, and one of them is to Dr. Perez. Thank you, Dr. Perez. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. And also, thank you to Chancellor Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Chairman. Appreciate it. Thank you. And one last one for uh, VP Joe Ramirez. Although he couldn't be here with us, this is for him. Thank you. Congratulations. OK, now I'm going to need your attention, everybody. We'll need the attention because this wonderful ceremony is coming to a close. So Patricia Flood, she has the ceremonial mace. 
Everybody, I'd like to ask you to please rise. Faculty, guests, and of course, graduates are already standing. The LAMC Choir, the LAMC Choir will lead us in singing the Los Angeles Mission College's alma mater. The words and music are written by David Pardes, and they are on the last page of your program. After the alma mater, please remain standing because the platform party will exit and then the graduates will pass by. So remain standing from this point on. Thank you. Marshall, Grand Marshall, you may lead the recessional, and we consider this program, this graduation of 2015, completed. Looking at the end of 
out of your back seat. Oh, okay.
No, no. 